this video you will learn how to create your own activity in sugarizer so the first step you need to do is download the zip file of sugarizer so go on this link and click clone or download and click on download zip then a download will automatically start so after downloading the zip file extract it and open the extracted folder something like this will appear so after opening the extracted folder go to activities and in activities create a new folder with the name of your activity so for example the name of my activity is example example dot activity don't forget to add the activity dot activity after the name of your activity so after doing that go to activity template it must be the second file activity template and copy all the contents and go back to your activity which is in my case example so here's example so here's my activity and paste all the copied content here the content go to activity activity.info i'm opening it with sublime text it's your choice which application you choose now replace my activity with the name of your activity so in my case it's example and do the same for this my activity also so i'll type in my i'll type in example so save this file and close this now go back to your folder and open index.html so in index.html replace my activity again with example now save this file and close this after saving that file go back to activities go back to the main directory the sugarizer master file and in the master file go to activities.json there's a file named activities it's a json file i'm opening it with sublime text it's your choice which application you choose so here goes sublime text and in this file copy the last thing and place a comma and press enter and paste the content here again <clears throat> so after doing this go back to your main folder and again go back to activities go to your activity which is example and go to activity and open activity.info and in activity.info copy this or of the sugar labs dot example copy this and paste it instead of this link so i have pasted this and then go back here and copy example and paste here instead of media viewer i have pasted it so after doing that next is version so it's our first version so one here and in directory we'll replace media viewer with example as the name of a folder is example.activity and then we have not made the icon yet so we'll keep this as it is and in favorite we'll give it true as we want to add this in our favorites and in activity id it will remain null as it is so after doing that go to google chrome click on this button here and then go to more tools on more tools click on extensions as you click on extensions something like this will appear and on this click on developer mode 
As soon as you click on developer mode, these three buttons will appear. Click on load unpacked extension and then select the master file, the sugarizer master file that you just edited. Make sure that you just save whatever we did before. So uh, select sugarizer master and click OK. So sugarizer here appears and then I'll click launch. As I click launch, OK, XYZ. OK, done. So when I go here, we can see that our activity comes here, example. So as we click on example, see it's written congratulations you are ready to develop this activity go ahead and edit the files so you can remove this message in the index html so it shows that we have successful, successfully created an activity and now we have to create an html and javascript file for our activity here's the following file structure about your activity which is in my case example so in this file structure activity this thing contains information about your activity including the name id and the icon index.html which is this contains this is where the elements that com compose your activity are defined the template comes with a toolbar and a canvas where you can place your content in javascript activity.js is where the logic of your activity lives. In the cascading style sheet and activity.css is where you add the styling of your activity. So the, these are the files which you basically edit. And some other files are uh, loader.javascript. This configures the library parts and loads your activity.js, which means this file. Library, this contains the libraries and package.json con con contains information about the libraries the activity depends on and setup.py is used if you want to run your activity in sugar. Okay, so now we learn how to add a button to the toolbar. So for adding a button, you'll need, need an SVG graphic file that will be used as a button. If you don't have one, don't worry. Go to libraries in our master file and then go to sugar web and then graphics and then click icons. In icons, there are two folders, emblems or actions. You can choose any one. So suppose I choose radioactive. If I click this, you can see here's the button. So I'll copy this and then go back to our master file. In master file, we'll click activities and then go to our activity, the one which we have created. So which is in this case example, we'll create a new folder named icons. So icons and in icons, we'll paste our icon. So now in our example.activity folder, we'll open index.html. I'm opening it with sublime text. It's your choice with which application do you want to open it. So now in index.html, go inside the toolbar so here's the toolbar in toolbar add a button so for doing that add button class is equals to tool button tool button id is equals to my button my button title is my button and we'll close this and again close the button after doing this we'll save it save this and close this that's our example.activity folder in there we'll click on css and open activity.css in activity.css 
we'll add main toolbar and then we'll add my button curly brackets open background image background image url so for the url put two dots slash icons slash radio button that's the name of our icon radioactive oh, i'm sorry it's radioactive so radio active let's recheck the spelling radioactive yeah it's correct dot svg now we'll save this and close it and then again in our example dot activity folder we'll open js we click activity.js i'm opening it sublime text and then in, in this we'll add a callback for our button so where my button equals to document dot get element by id brackets open postrof my button that is semicolon and then my button dot on click is equals to function brackets space curly brackets open console dot log you click me so we'll save this file again and then close it the method we used to add the button to the toolbar is quite limiting we'll soon realize that so now we'll discover another method method named manipulating the dom so in js in act, your example dot activity click js and then in js open activity in activity you need to now add some code so i have some pre-baked code so i'm copying this and pasting it after this so this was some pre-baked code from here you can have a look at this so I'll now save the file and go to Chrome, reload the extension and launch. So in my extension, I'll now again open example. So now you can see these three items loaded. So that's all for the tutorial. Now it's your turn to transform this activity in something fun. Thank you.